Naveed Afkari was the life and soul of the party. He was a top wrestler in Iran, but he was executed by his government in 2020. I knew something happened, and when I listened to one of the voicemail of my journalist friend, uh, I just cried, you know, I couldn't control my tears. Sadar Pashai is a former junior world champion from Iran. He was involved in the campaign to try and save Afkari's life. They were telling me that if you can be available in one hour to have interview, and I just keep saying I can't, and they wanted me to be there, but it was one of the most difficult moments. Afkari had been accused of killing a security guard during a protest rally in 2018, a charge that he confessed to initially, but later retracted because he said he'd been tortured. During this exchange in court, he can be heard challenging the authority of the judge in a trial that his supporters say was rigged against him. His family and human rights groups in Iran say that no compelling evidence was ever presented in the case against him. In such a strict society where any challenge to authority can be severely punished, it is very uncommon for such a recording to even exist, let alone be out in public. Leaked by human rights activists, its very existence is evidence that Afkari's death has now galvanized those who are calling for change. Before he was hanged, Afkari recorded an audio file in prison, demanding that the world take notice of his plight and of the countless other political prisoners who are detained in Iran, tortured and executed. <laughs> اما دو سال که من و خانوادم داریم با ناجوان مردترین حریف تاریخ بشریت یعنی بیادالتی دست و پنزی نرم میکنیم و بدون شک اگه حمایت و کمک شما رو نداشته باشیم همه من شکست میخوریم a campaign group called United for Navid is now using his defiant and courageous stance to highlight the oppression of other athletes and citizens by Iran's strict governing regime. They want the International Olympic Committee to ban Iran from the Games. When Navid was sending an audio file from prison, he had a hope. I have the same hope. I want to do something. And this is the first step. United for Navid actually is trying to get the attention of the rest of the world, that do not ignore when people are asking you for help. Since Afkari's death, life has become very difficult for those who are close to him. Two of his brothers, Vahid and Habib, are also in jail, and the family is under pressure not to speak, which is why one family member agreed only to talk with CNN if their identity could be protected. They say that Navid's mother is conflicted in her grief. She's so sad for losing losing Navid. And second feeling, she's so proud of Navid because she knows that Navid chose the right path. For those that Navid Afkari left behind, the direction of that path is now uncertain. But his fate has prompted other athletes to speak out against the government. They thought that killing this guy, you know, they can bear his name like his body, but it never happened. He's a hero for millions of young athletes, and um, he's everywhere now. An execution intended to silence and intimidate may just have had the opposite effect. The Iranian government has said repeatedly that Navid Afkari was not tortured and that his confession was not forced. CNN has asked the government if he received a fair trial. We have not received a response.